Division of law enforcement are joining to combat the problem. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn reports. Uh, is this the worst you've ever seen it? Yes, certainly within my time frame here. I've been here for almost six or seven years. <clears throat> Anthony Salisbury is the special agent in charge of Homeland Security investigations in Miami. I don't want to give an exact number on the, on the, on the total numbers we've seen, but it's an increase in both number, numbers of weapon and then certainly the caliber. He says the volume in the past couple of months is high enough for Homeland Security investigations to initiate a crackdown. I would say traditionally, Going to Haiti over the, the years, you'll see more handguns and, and a smaller amount. Some of the weapons that have been seized are military-grade weapons designed to inflict extensive damage. So here are some examples of the guns that have been seized. They're large in capacity and also big in caliber. Here's one example. This is a .308 belt-fed light machine gun. Salisbury focused particularly on Haiti, a country in political crisis. So these weapons going down in mass volumes to any country, certainly a country the size of Haiti with the turmoil it's already experienced, causes destabilization causes a rough environment, causes people to want to look for a better life and look to go somewhere else, forcing the migrant push, right? You're always looking to see what's causing those push and pull factors on the migrant flows. And certainly we're seeing unprecedented numbers even here in South Florida. It was just back in July of 2021 that Haiti's president, Jovenel Moise, was assassinated, leading to further unrest. And that year, there were 1,527 Haitian migrants intercepted by U.S. Coast Guard crews alone. Compare that with the year before in 2020, with only 418, or two years before that, 609. So the question may come up, why doesn't anyone stop these weapons from leaving U.S. ports? The, the, the answer on that is, is just looking at the flow of commerce. So why, why we're looking at this? I mean, you, you're averaging about $60 billion export industry. Law enforcement officers do find smuggled weapons, but guns are often broken down and shipped in different boxes to skirt detection. All this stuff is hidden within that legitimate commerce. And the ATF continues to look for arms dealers that are violating the laws, but the coalition of agencies say they need more tips from the public for new leads. In Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.